Here's a question that I like asking. Can narcissists turn and be saved? Uh, some psychologists teach that a narcissist cannot be turned from their narcissism, narcissism, but the Bible says something different. Uh, the testimony of the Bible against us is that before grace, we were boastful, foolish, uh, disobedient. Uh, you can read Titus 3, 3 through 8 on that. So what is a narc? A narc is, some, uh, is, is, a, is a boastful, insolent individual. This is what a person is before the Spirit. Jude 3, or, well, Jude 16. Uh, Jude 16 teaches us that uh, these people are murderers, co uh, uh, complainers, walk after their own lusts, and speak swelling words. In verse uh, 17, they are they are mockers. But the Bible says we are we all once were such. First Corinthians 6, 10 through 11. We were idolaters, uh, adulterers, thieves, uh, you know, revilers, uh, and such were some of us. But we were uh, washed, sanctified, and justified. Uh, can narcs turn and be saved? That's still the question. The Bible in Matthew 19 speaks of a rich young ruler who uh, boasted of his obedience to the law. Jesus, uh, hang on. Jesus reveals that the uh, that he lacked uh, one thing. The rich young ruler uh, went away sad. His disciples uh, were amazed and asked, Who then shall be saved? Jesus responds in verse 26, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Can narcs be saved? Paul once was a murderer and a, a murderer, uh, believing that uh, he was doing the work of God. Acts 9, 1 through 9 tells us uh, that God changed his mind, for he was a uh, chosen vessel. Acts 9, 15. Chosen vessel, vessel elect. Yeah. If narcs boasts of a... Uh, if narcs boast uh, of uh, of themselves great things, then it, it is only by the grace of grace of God alone that we are saved. For grace teaches us that uh, that uh, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts uh, to be sober uh, to be sober uh, or thinking soberly, looking for that uh, blessed hope. And appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, Titus 2 1, 11 through 13. Grace is not something that we work for, for we were all once dead in, in sins and trespasses, and so by nature children of wrath. Ephesians 2 3. I don't think that this children of wrath means that God was wrath, wrathful against us. For Christians, if uh, for Christians or for believers, we uh, we were uh, God loved us from from eternity, so God does not change. He is impassable. He is immutable. Uh, anyways, but uh, moving on. But in verse four through ten, it is God who is rich in mercy. Verse five, when we were uh, dead in sins, ha He has quickened us. Verse six, uh, raised us up. And seated us in, um, seated us with Christ, verse eight through ten. For by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of yourselves; it is the gift of God. Uh, elsewhere, we are told that we uh, we receive the Spirit not by the works of the law, but by the hearing of faith. Galatians three two, or in Romans five one, it says, "Being justified, comma." By faith, we were, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I have to make clear again, uh, as my previous videos said, that uh, is faith a noun or is it a verb? These texts seem to indicate that faith is a noun. 
In other words, we are saved by the object of faith, not by the work of faith, or not by my act of believing. There's no there's no power in my act of believing. It all is derived from the object of what is held to be true. In other words, these verses teaches us that we are saved apart from our works, that we are saved by the unmerited favor of God set in Christ alone. Romans 3, 23 through 25. Look that up. Ugh. We, thus, by Christ, have given up our works and have accepted the only righteousness that God accepts. Romans 1, 16, for the gospel is the power of God. The difference between a, a narc and a believer is not in how much sins or how many sins one commits, for we all fail. Even the Bible says a righteous man may fall several times. Proverbs 24, 16 through 18. Uh, the difference remains in the profession. One is proud and boastful in their works. The other is boastful of, of another's work. Philippians 3, 8 through 10. Paul teaches us that, that he counts everything as done for the sake of Christ. Uh, can narcs be saved? Yes, but only by grace through Christ alone. Ephesians 1, 5 through 7. We are only accepted in the beloved. The reason, the reason why narcs uh, remain narcs, especially in the church, is because the worldly teaching, the world has taught, taught us to uh, cherish our works. The popular church has taught us to, uh, to be assured or ground our assurance uh, in our works. The believer knows that their assurance is grounded only in Christ. And what he has accomplished. So can narcs be saved? This is only a work of God. Thank you.